Number 34, letter A. A car generator turns at 400 revolutions per minute when the engine is idling. Its 300 turn, 5 by 8 centimeter rectangular coil rotates in an adjustable magnetic field so that it can produce sufficient voltage even at low RPMs. What is the field strength needed to produce 24 volts of peak EMF? So peak EMF, we've seen this now for the past 17 problems that we're probably using this formula down here because this variable represents peak EMF. But I don't really like to call it in the formula peak EMF there. I just call V sub P for peak voltage, okay? Doesn't really make a difference. They're both in terms of volts. So that's going to be equal to now the number of turns of the coil multiplied by the cross-sectional area that is experienced in the magnetic field and multiplied by that external magnetic field strength multiplied then by the angular velocity in radians per second. So now if I want to find the magnetic field strength, I got to divide the number of coil turns in the coil, the area, and the angular velocity. So therefore the formula is going to look just like this, right? And a omega. So now what I need to do is just simply start plugging some stuff in. So we got the peak voltage here, 24 volts. Oh, great. I just plug it in. The number of turns of the coil. Oh, great. They gave it to us, 300. The area. Oh, well, eh, they didn't tell it to us directly, but they told us a rectangular coil. It says 8 centimeters by 5 centimeters, so this is 0 0.08 meters, this is 0 0.05 centimeters, right? And now if you need to multiply that on out, just throw it on into the calculator if you need, and it's going to be 0 0.004, or 4 times 10 to the minus 3, right? Meters squared now, so 4 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared. That's the area, length times width. And then all we now need to do is plug it in, so that's going to be 4 times 10 to the minus 3. And then we need to plug in the uh, uh, angular velocity. Remember, radians per second. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. So they didn't give it to us, right, in radians per second. So we got to do a conversion. So it's going to be 400 revolutions per minute. And we got to now convert that, right? So revolutions on the bottom, uh, radians on the top. And you know that there's two pi radians and one revolution. So we'll see you later radians. But this would give us an answer in radians per minute. We don't want radians per minute. We want radians per second. So therefore, the minutes have to go on the top. The seconds on the bottom, you know that there's 60 seconds in a minute. We'll see you later minutes. And now finally, we arrive at the answer of radians per second. And all we need to do is just plug it into the calculator and solve. So it's going to be 400 multiplied by 2 pi divided by then 60. And bada bing, bada boom, it's going to be 41.9. Right, so here we got a value of 41.9. Going once, going twice, sold. Sold to you that you're going to put it into your calculator now. So let's do it. So it's going to be 24 divided by parentheses, 300 times and 4 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by that answer. And what do we get? 0 0.477 Tesla. And there you go. All right, that's the magnetic field strength. And letter B, it says, discuss how this required field strength compares to those available. Eh, it's pitilance, okay? You go into an MRI machine, you're going to experience 5 Tesla. All right. And so this is about, you know, 10 times less or so. But yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please help us out by subscribing. We'll see you soon. And uh, by the way, check out, we've got tons and tons of practice out there. If you're taking camera math, all right, we've got thousands of other videos out there. We follow the OpenStax book. So even if you're not using the book, go to the website, download it. It's free. Right. And you can find out a lot of similar problems to the ones that you're having solved uh, step by step. Okay, just the way you've enjoyed it now for physics. Take care. We enjoy helping you and we will see you soon. Be well.